What's up, shoemakers? Welcome to another episode of Tips Thursday. Today, I want to talk to you guys about something that will revolutionize your leather stitching. How to stitch leather and get it perfect all the time without overstitching your stitching lines. So how to stay within your stitching lines and get perfect stitches all the time. Let's go. So tip number one is what you have already seen. Always do a test stitch. Take the thickness of leather that you plan to stitch, put it under the presser fits, and then do a test stitch. The reason is for you to see that the upper and lower thread tensions are working perfectly. So you want to check how the stitch appears in front and at the back to see that your tensions are gauged correctly and that there are no problems. Tip number two is identify the edge that you don't want to overshoot and ensure that the right claw of your presser fit is on that edge while your needle just lies to the left of it. As you can see in the video, the right claw is exactly on that edge, so I'm using it as my edge gauge and then the needle is slightly to the left of it sewing on that edge. Um, I just turn around now. This is the reverse of what it would be. You don't want to be stitching like this except you're of course doing your back stitches with a sewing machine that doesn't have back stitches. I'll talk about back stitching later on in this video but first of all let's look at what the stitches look like. Um, you see how all of that lies on the edge and the stitches are straight. So let's look again at the right and wrong way of doing this. You don't want to do that. And this is the right way. So that's the edge that I don't want to overshoot. I get the thread out of the way. Put my right claw of my presser foot right on that edge. And then the needle falls just alongside. So that's the right claw. That's my needle there. So I stitch and that way my, my line is centered and I can stitch without problems. Of course you violate this rule when you want to do your back stitches, especially if you have a sewing machine which doesn't have that option for back stitching. Like this singer 124K that I'm using. So that leads me exactly into tip number three. When you're doing your back stitches, ensure that you stitch into exactly the same holes that um, you had when you did your front stitches. There's no point stitching on different holes. You're just punching extra holes into the leather and you're weakening your joint um, that way. And tip number four is what you're looking at now. Always burn off your threads and ensure that they are welded completely into the work. Tip five should have been tip number one. Make sure that you light up your stitching area very well or else you surely miss it. <laughs> this cannot be overemphasized, gentlemen. You have to light up your stitching area very well. You know, if you're not seeing, it will be more stressful for you. You'd miss stitches, you miss your lines. You have to ensure that that area is well lit and then you can do your work as comfortably as you can. You got it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about it. All right.